Two guys were walking on a cold night and they got lost in a forest. One of them is a heavier guy and the other one is skinny. And as it got colder, it started snowing. The one who had a bit more blubber could withstand the cold because he had more protection. The skinny guy continued to pass out. His friend who was a true friend went down on his hands and knees and started massaging him, making sure that he doesn't get hypothermic and frozen, keeping his blood circulating and trying to keep him as warm as he could. The heavy guy worked hard and tried his best. Then it got colder and colder until eventually the heavy guy also started to get overwhelmed. Out of the blue someone comes along and saves them both. He takes them to a lodge, there is a fire, he gives them something warm to eat and drink. They both get revived and are able to survive. So afterwards the slimmer guy comes over to his friend and says, I must also thank you, you could have easily left me and I would not have survived. You stayed there and tried your best to keep me warm. And the heavier guy turns around and says, no, I have to thank you. So the skinny guy asks, why would you need to thank me? And the heavier guy replies and says, if I had not exerted myself in massaging you, I may have also passed out. Through massaging you, I was working my body and that helped me to overcome the cold also. This is a classic example of how being proactive and selfless in the bigger picture Everyone will benefit. There's another anecdote which counters this one. It's about two guys who go hiking out in the mountain. In the middle of the night, they are awoken to the noise of the bear. So one guy jumps up and grabs his tackies. And the other guy turns to him and tells him, Come on, do you really think you're going to outrun the bear? And he responds by saying, No, I don't have to outrun the bear. All I have to do is outrun you. So yes, as a young person, someone may have told you, it's a hostile world out there. It's survival of the fittest. Don't be naive. Don't be simple-minded. Nobody's going to look out for you. There's an element of truth in that. But what stops you from looking out for someone else? Are you going to be the heavy guy who massages his friend? Or the guy who grabbed his tackies? That's a choice that you have to make on a daily basis. Be the type of person you would like to see in the world. Wherever you are, spread warmth and leave the world a brighter place.